Hey guys, so I wanted to post a video for you guys on the scientific benefits of fasting in terms of what happens to your body as you go through this. But I also wanted to touch on some of the more uh, subtle layers of what fasting does. If you look at most of the major religions, they have some level of fasting included. And there's an incredibly important reason for that. And that is that uh, when you are consuming food, a lot of times it's an emotional reaction. You'll find that a lot of times if you're sitting by yourself on like a rainy Sunday or something, that how often you go to the fridge when you're in these moments of silence just to kind of entertain yourself with food. And fasting can be a really good way of uh, eliminating that emotional clutch of going to food every time you start to sit with yourself. So fasting is a deliberate way of limiting putting extra uh, food into your body. It takes a lot of energy to digest food, so you'll feel kind of a surge of energy, usually after about the day and a half mark. So um, we're limiting a lot of this here, right? We're not definitely not getting any sugar from foods or anything like that. Uh, we heard the Cali Means podcast where they were discussing how many toxins are in our food today and the, um, the amount of additives that are in our food. So when you go through that, you're allowing um, the body to heal itself. Uh, this is kind of getting more into the physical benefits, but cancer prevention, things like that are boosted when you guys do a longer duration fast. And you're energetically, you're freeing up a lot of energy that was typically used for digestion. And uh, not to mention food is very grounding. Uh, if you do intense uh, spiritual practices, or if you were to do something like plant medicine, uh, very often after you have those deep experiences, they'll tell you to ground yourself, to, to bring those lessons you learn from uh, the spiritual meditations or the plant medicine into uh, your daily life. And that's kind of like the balancing that we find. So I really recommend that if you guys decide to do one of these fasts to really sit and if you can do a longer duration meditation, I think it's amazing. Uh, you feel a lot different. You might get some insights and things that you wouldn't normally get. Um, I did a, I've, I've taken, I take a lot of things to the extreme. So when I was in uh, Brazil in November, I did an eight day fast. We did three days of no food or water. And then it was three days of light juice and tea and two days of heavy juice and tea. And it was crazy. Um, it was definitely some of the most interesting spiritual insights I've ever gotten uh, just sitting in those meditations. So uh, you can think that you're going to be kind of moving from this like a lot of inputs uh, into a lot of this like clarity and like kind of this like flow state. So highly recommend you guys try this out and um, tell me what you feel in that experience. Fasting can also be a really good way of ridding yourself of negative thought forms. So there might be these like ruminating thoughts that are kind of coming through your mind and in the absence of food, sometimes it allows you to kind of dive into these thoughts and to allow them to pass through you and not get so attached to them. Uh, like I said, because you're not taking in food, you're not as pulled to the material existence and you can kind of pull yourself out of that a little bit. And that is very freeing as you move from this like me state, this like I'm Kyle, I'm, you know, a business owner, I'm, you know, a father my dog i'm all these like little tiny things and it pulls you up into this like more um open awareness i guess and so uh fasting is gonna pull you into this state your sleep hopefully gets a little bit better um your body fat will reduce you'll a lot of like tightness or like injuries and things like that will be relieved uh you you'll find more mental clarity as you move through that uh, breath work and meditation becomes way more intense, which I find to be very uh, exciting and interesting to explore. You know, like I said, this thing is kind of a big experiment. So uh, spending a little bit more time uh, out in nature is really smart when you do this. Try and get as much time out in the sun as you can. We get a tremendous amount of energy from the sun, which is why we don't feel as hungry in the summers. So when you guys do this, spend some time grounding, try and be out in nature spend some time in longer duration meditations, breath work, and just uh, see if you get any messages. You might get some uh, insights that you uh, are normally clouded from when you're distracting yourself with a lot of food. So uh, I think that gives you kind of like the emphasis or something to think about as you're moving through this. Uh, it can also help you to pull yourself out of this desire to like eat food because if you've never done longer duration fasting before, you can, you'll start to feel how uh, tremendously powerful that instinct is to uh, cover up or to distract yourself from emotional issues um, by using food. So I hope this helps and uh, check out the other video that I, I'm going to post about the uh, scientific benefits of fasting for uh, the material existence for your body. And 
Uh, I hope that you guys can do at least one of the following to do a 24 hour, do a 36 hour, 48 hour or 72 hour fast. And if you want to push it a little bit longer, if you've done a few of these before, you can push a little longer. If this is your first one. I suggest trying 24, maybe 36 and seeing how you feel after that. If you're taking certain medications, uh, maybe consult with your physician before you do this. And for the ladies, I'll also be posting a chart as far as when you should try this based on your cycle as well, because you don't want to do this at certain points in your cycle. So hopefully this helps and uh, I look forward to hearing what you guys think.